Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. A uh, little bit of a change of plan um, with these next two reviews. Um, as you'll know, I was originally planning to do two more Lego sets, um, but it seems that the general consensus here on my YouTube channel seems to be that everybody wants to see more Hasbro reviews, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, today, with it being sort of the 30th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, and that's sort of been the hot topic in the Star Wars community at the minute. I thought I'd give you a look at some items from that film. And we're going to kick things off with the Kmart exclusive Endo ATST crew. Now, this is a exclusive two pack, as I said, um, available at Kmart stores in the US. Um, not entirely sure where this is available in Canada and other countries, but here in the UK, you can pick this one up at your local Forbidden Planet. And if you're lucky, um, you'll find these on sale as well. Um, as I did, I managed to pick these up for just nine ninety nine, which is was a fantastic deal. And considering that I have the Endor ATST as well, um, this was a must-have. Um, this is obviously like the packaging that the figures come in. Very nice vintage-inspired um, packaging with the Return of the Jedi logo at the top. As you can see, these are the European versions. So you've got the uh, multi-language card there. Got a cool image on the front and that very same image on the back as well. Obviously, over in the States, you'd have the exclusive at Kmart sticker on the front as well. So that's the packaging that these guys come in. Now let's take a look at the figures themselves. Um, each one is fairly similar um, upon first glance, as you can see. Fairly generic figures. Um, not the most exciting of characters, but again, if you're a fan of the Empire and you have the Endor ATST as I do, then these are figures that you should definitely pick up. Um, also available in this sort of range are a couple of Ewoks as well, as you can see just there. So you can pick them up to accompany this set too. So there we go. Right, on to the figures. Um, I'll start by giving you a look at this one because, as I said, each figure is ever so slightly different. Um, as you can see at first glance, each figure does look the same, but underneath the helmets, which are removable, we do get two individually sculpted heads. Now, a bit of movie trivia for you here. Um, if you remember the scene in Return of the Jedi where the ATST pilots are dragged from the cockpit by Chewbacca and attacked by the Ewoks, then you may remember that each ATST driver is indeed played by a member of the production crew from Return of the Jedi. This particular one is modelled after the, I believe he was the director of Return of the Jedi, um, Richard Marquand. So very cool head sculpts on him. And then if we take a look at the other driver, if we remove his helmet, this guy's head sculpt is modelled after Robert Watts, who was not only the producer on Return of the Jedi, but also on The Empire Strikes Back as well. So that's quite an interesting note on there. Um, other than the heads, each figure is exactly the same, even down to the helmet. I believe that these guys were first made available with the Battle of Hoth um, Ultimate Battle Packs, you know, that came with the ATSTs and um, the Hoth Rebel Turret and all that sort of stuff. So, as I said, each figure is exactly the same. So, in terms of articulation, we have ball hinged elbows, sorry, shoulders and elbows, swivel forearms, a ball jointed torso. Swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles. And as you can see, each figure does come with an E11 blaster rifle. You also got the Imperial emblem on the shoulder there, as well as the comlink on the wrist, and also the harness there as well. So there we go, that is the ATST crew, once again target exclusives and to accompany this review 
I'll be giving you a look at the Endo ATST in my next video. And then it's on to my 600th review. So, very exciting times ahead. So, if you enjoyed this video, I'll be back with more reviews soon. And until then, as always, guys, keep collecting and may the force be with you.